What's up, y'all? Down South 77 here. This is Three Star Draw. It is a channel where we are adults and we are talking about toys. Not adult toys. These kind of toys. Yeah, baby. Today we're going to be talking about number 94. This is the Mole Rat. I've been waiting for this dude um, since he was announced. This, this character kind of really speaks to me. I'm a big horror movie fan. This guy is there's right on the verge of horror. I don't necessarily want horror mixed in with Majo verse. That may change when Monster Force gets here next year. We'll see. But uh, these guys, like in a world where we have clone super soldiers from centuries old DNA, and we have snake people that live in the Himalayas. What kind of snake is going to live in the Himalayan mountains? It's ice. Snakes don't live in ice. Anyway, so uh, this guy could fit, like, the whole whatever they're doing with the dark inner John stuff with Transformers. We don't really know because we don't have any kind of a comic or any kind of narrative other than what they write on the product pages on the sites that sell these guys. So anyway, with the Dark Energons kind of mutating, I can see that fitting. I can make that work in my Joeverse. And I was not real sure about this guy when he was first announced. You know, we had the leak for the name a long time before we ever saw the figure. And then we saw the figure and everybody was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, okay, what, what is it? And the more I looked at it, the more I really liked the design. I liked the whole the whole vibe of the character from what I saw. And then you read the little blurb about the dark energon and the Easter eggs they put in with the, with the dark energon on the packaging and all of that kind of stuff. It, it just the way they're doing it, it works. So I was really interested in this dude and. Once I kind of looked at him a little more, I was like, yeah, i got to have that guy. This is not going to be a skip for me. <laughs> there has not been too many skips for me yet, but they're coming. I know they're coming. There, there's, there's been a couple. Uh, we'll talk about that at another time. But I got a couple of these guys from Walmart. Uh, my box was a little bit crunched there. There's this cool artwork. I really hope that they can find a way to incorporate this artwork when we go back to window packages because the artists that work on this, artist, artists, whoever it is, uh, they're the only thing saving these janky boxes. Um, like I said, this one come right from Walmart, so hopefully nobody switched it out and he's actually in there. Uh, I do have a box collection of guys. I don't have a I don't have everybody boxed because I'm not rich, bitch. So I've got a bunch. I'm not going to box collect the entire line. I'm going to open the line. I like to play with them and pose them. So anyway, let's take a look at this dude. There is the front of the packaging. Uh, there's his Energon face right there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's all this stuff he comes with. There is the QR code that goes to nowhere. And there is the back. See, he is 6'3". There's the bottom. Yeah, we don't care about the bottom. The bottom is meaningless. Uh, about as meaningless as that little fold-up piece of paper they put inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this dude and get him out of his uh, cardboard prison there and spend five minutes cutting these stupid-ass plastic ties they're tying everybody down with now. I'm going to pause the video, do all that, reposition the camera, and then we'll take a look at him fresh out the box. Alright, we got our stuff moved there. It probably really was about five minutes getting this dude out of these ties, man. You know, we complained about the little uh, twist tie, bread tie things, and we got these little plastic deals now, man. Hasbro giveth and Hasbro taketh away. Them things are the worst, and... You know, you don't want to scratch the paint up on your figure, and I've almost sliced my finger open. I don't know how many times trying to cut them open from the back, but anyway, enough about that. So here he is. All I did was cut the ties and flip him back over. His stuff's right there where I dumped it, so 
There's his Foot Locker, number 94. We know all about that. Cobra! So there's that. So here's the box. We've already looked at the box, although there's not as much glare right now, maybe, as I say that. So anyway, there's the box. So let's get to the meat and taters here. There's the cool artwork. This dude looks good in black and white. I know that's the theme, but I really would have liked to have seen him, you know, throw some purple in. I think as awesome as these artworks are that we're getting, I think if they did like a splash of color in each one, I'm sure it's probably cost prohibitive um, with whatever. But I just think it would be a, a really neat touch. We'll probably never get it, but... You know, I just something my something my thought has, bro. If you ever listen to this, uh, you can probably just uh, throw it in the trash bin. So there's that. That's cool. So here he is. Here's straight out of the box. Here he is mole rat. There is his crazy dark energon face. Uh, I really like the sculpt. I hope that's coming through. Um, you know, he's got the little marks all over his face. Uh, you can actually, I mean, you can see where it looks like his skin is jacked up. His teeth are all funky. He's got black lips. Black lips, dude. You know you're in for it. You got some black ass lips. But see, like this right here, you know what he reminds me of? I mentioned I'm a horror fan. Evil Dead. He looks like a damn deadite to me. Uh, that's what he looks like, and maybe that's why I really like him so much, but... There he is, so let's see, I don't know if this will make any difference here. Nope, we'll have to bring him in close. So there's his suit. Um, he is, his a uh, bicep cut. He's all turned around all weird. I don't know why in the packaging. It looks, it looks like he's got, like needs orthopedic shoes. No offense if you wear orthopedic shoes, lots of people have them. Um, but he just, I don't know, they get all twisted up in the packaging somehow. There he is, uh, paint apps on him look really good. They're probably not coming through very well with my, my lighting, but that, like, right there, that's raised. Um, his vest thing that he's got on. These are fixed, these hoses here. Uh, they don't come off, apparently. Uh, he's a little, a little floppy there. Huh. First time I really, well, <laughs> awesome. That's fantastic. It's just right out of the, right out of the gate. And butterfly and all that is just, uh, see if we can pop it back in. Yeah, he's, okay. It, well, it went back in, but, well, I can still pose him, so I'm not going to complain too awful much about that, I guess. But, man, that's just, look how loose that is. It's just, see the other one, the other one is not. The other one is, the other one's nice and tight. But that one, man, that joint, I will see. So, anyway, uh, there he is. See, he's got, he's not... And I'm not going to force that. That one, man, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to heat this dude up. Uh, don't really, I don't like having to heat figures up. I know these, these days, that's just the way it is. But I, man, I hate it. I just shouldn't, I shouldn't have to. So, he's got double everything. That moves, so... Uh, I'm just really, you know, I want to get them out and pose them. Uh, this guy will be awesome for pictures. So I'll, I don't know. I've gotten a couple of figures whose butterflies and stuff is pretty loose. One of my range vipers, his elbow, I mean, it barely catches. It's, you can pose him, but it, it's really, really loose. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it, but let's look at his stuff. So here's his. Here is his backpack. He's got, he's got some really cool sculpting on that. I like the, the little fans. And he's got the hose. You know, you're looking at this and everybody's looking at this pretty much just, you know, knowing airtight's coming. Airtight's probably going to use this body, which 
I'm really okay with. I mean, it, it's a good body. I hope it's not the exact same copy. You know, maybe move these or something here. Um, but, yeah, whatever. So, there's that. I'm sorry my camera is not wanting to focus very well on the ground. And I do have it raised quite a bit. But, let's look at his other stuff. So, there is his whatever that is it's a gun it has a it's got a port for blast effect there uh, and this goes okay so this the handle is interchangeable and it goes in to the gun i shouldn't know this because i've watched like three or four people review this figure i've been waiting on it so long um there's a couple of really good reviews out there on this figure. Uh, Punk with Toys did a great one, and, and uh, Shark Eyes has a really good one. There's the drill. That's what I've been wanting to see right there. It's 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 mostly straight. I am impressed because I have seen some people post pictures and videos where their drill was kind of floppy. Uh, it uh, erectile drill syndrome i guess ed <laughs> so yeah that so that goes in there just like yonder pops in yeah that looks cool i like it see it's a good trade-off for not getting a, a weapon weapon because these guys aren't soldiers they're they're miners you know they go out and they they mine that's what they do so here is the regular this is the this is the gas mask head. I'm surprised this head did not come on the figure straight out of the box. Um, I'm kind of glad it didn't, but I'm surprised that it didn't. So there's what that head looks like. You got the new little tiny peg in there. So you can't swap heads with old figures without a bunch of modification. I'm not much of a customizer myself. So there's his lantern. That's cool. That has got a purple app on it. My camera's probably not picking it up. Um, but that moves. And this glows. Uh, this was something uh, that was confirmed. Lenny actually mentioned it, but he almost mentioned it in passing when he talked about it. And I think a lot of people kind of forgot about it until the figure came out. But it's really cool. That glows, and then, of course, that glows. We all know now. So, backpack goes in. I uh, probably need to see how easy it is to pop his head off. He had a baby, and his head popped off. Let's see if we can get that one on there. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Some of these guys, I feel like I'm going to crush their neck. Like, like they're giant bodybuilders with no neck when I get done with them. No offense to you if you're a bodybuilder. I am not, if you've ever seen my body. So that goes in like so there. Maybe. That's that's the theory. Yeah, there we go. It's mostly in. That's what she said. So that one goes there. And this one goes on here like so. Get that popped on there. That one don't. I don't want to go on there too well. That's kind of, I can already see that lightening up a little bit. So do that and do that. And man, that looks cool. You know, like the idea of this figure or not, um, like where they're going, coming up with this guy or not, you can't deny that that's a cool looking figure. You don't like the zombie head, man, pose him, pose him like that. Like that's that's dope right there, and he's got the little little Geiger counter thing. That be cool if they'd put some paint app on on this too, like maybe a little screen or something there. But I have a feeling they probably blew the budget. So there's the it's got like a little you know we were kids we're still playing with toys. You can use your imagination. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. So. There's the lantern. Let's get the lantern in his hand like he's out. He's looking for some dark energon. 
Where's my energy on? Cobra Commander's got a quota. This is bullshit. So there's that. I like that. That's that's cool to me. Like that's a that's a cool look. I like it. I really dig it. So I'm gonna put his drill in his hand here and see if I can do that without his arm coming off. Oh, just as I say it. Man, I'm really not happy about that. There's the cuff. That's not broken, is it? It's actually, that might actually be broken. I don't know. It pops back in easy enough. But man, that sucks. And the elbows are so tight. Like having to wiggle them around to get his, uh, you know, pose. You know, it's, it's going to pop back out. I may, I may wind up contacting old, good old Wally World and seeing if I can get a new one. I don't, I can forgive a few things, but come on, man. So there's his drill. Are you coming to drill you? I'm going to drill you, you son of a bitch. So, I don't know. I like it. Uh, I think he's a cool figure. Uh, you know, he's, he, he's pretty neat. I will... Probably because I'm getting several of these guys. A little hose popped out. I knew that was going to happen because it it fits in there, but it's not great. And I saw, I think, the very first review that I watched on this guy in Seething Jealousy was the one that uh, Punk with Toys did. And he had mentioned the range of motion on the head when you've got all these hoses connected and that's not that's not great um he's got that's about it you know this one this hose don't fit in there it fits in there but it it don't like to stay and i really probably if i had some better light right now i could get that in there a little bit tighter because i'm i'm completely missing the hole I, usually it takes a lot of Jim Beam for that. So there we go. Um, got that in there. And his head, like you said, he can move. But, you know, he's got a little bit there before stuff starts popping loose. I mean, what are you really going to do with him, though? I mean, you, you're posing him and stuff. He's not going to be really moving, you know, a whole lot. And, you know, it's, it's not robot chicken. Well, yeah, it kind of is, can be. So there's, there he is. I like him. I'm um, not real thrilled that my, uh, that my, my right arm has fallen off. So you can store the lantern back here. It's got a little peg on it where the, the lantern goes. And I don't see a spot for his little Energon doohickey. I'm going to put that right there. I don't know if that's... Maybe that's where that's meant to go. You can put it there, so I don't know. I don't know if it's meant to go there, but clearly you can. So this gun... Oh, he's got a couple... He's got a little thing right there where it looks like that. Eh, it kind of bends. It pops in there. It, it stays maybe if you turn it that way. Yeah, that's better. If you turn it out with the handle out, that, it'll stay on there. Um, and so he's got all his gear. He can hold all his gear. I mean, he, he's he got nowhere to put his extra head, but... Whoa, coming to get you, Ash. Oh, I mean, you're not going to like store the head, because obviously this is what he looks like. Before he has crazy deadite head... But so, get that out of there. Um, I like him. I am. I'm happy with him. Other than the arm being loose, that's a disappointment. Uh, was not expecting that. I don't know why we should be expecting that. I've seen. I don't have Helix, and I have seen the quality issues with her in reviews. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to fool with this a little more. It seems, I seem to have it popped in there better now. I'm not like, that's, that's way too sloppy for me. Um, and that right there, just that cuff, 
because this one, that one's in there. I think this, uh, there, right there, that goes. I think this come unglued is what it looks like to me, because this one, this one does not move. And I don't go over these dudes with a super fine tooth comb to like examine every point of articulation and stuff with, you know, just a microscope. So I'm not, that, that's a new issue for me. None of my other guys have had that, but I think I'm going to wind up having to call. Yeah, it looks like you can see glue there uh, where that, that cuff is supposed to be. Yeah, it's this way too loose. So yeah, I think I'm, I hate to because I really want several of these dudes. I've got a couple more on the way. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to wind up having to see what they'll do on replacing him. Much as I hate it. But so there he is. Uh, I, I do like this guy. Uh, he's a cool figure. He's a cool addition to the line for me. So I'm I'm very happy with him. He's well sculpted. The the wrinkles in the suit, the environmental suit, all that stuff really comes through. I don't. I'm sure this body's other than the arms and stuff's probably. 90% reuse, but if they can reuse it and make something this cool to me, I, I mean, I'm okay with it. I want new stuff, but I understand how they have to do with what they got to pay for new stuff, but I'm I'm not a huge repaint fan, and the reuse, if they're reusing it to make something new and cool, I'm all for that, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have to heat this dude up, but first I'm going to see if Walmart's going to swap him out. I could live with this. I shouldn't have to. Uh, when you start getting stuff that's got joints that are broken right out of the box, you know, I've seen people open figures and their arms are off, and this guy probably would have if he got jostled around a little bit more. His arm probably would have been totally off. And the tightness that they put those plastic ties on with, it does not help. Because uh, it's jacking, you know, you saw how he was. He looked like, you know, he was all twisted up like Samara from the ring got him or some shit. And that, that's not, those ties are not helping anything. But there he is, the figure overall, if you get one that is not, you know, broken out of the box... He's a good figure. I recommend him. And here on my channel, I do not give stars for reviews. Despite the name, the three stars are not for reviews. They are for my state. Here on my channel, we give yeehaws. So, for Mole Rat, number 94, G.I. Joe Classified, I want to give him a five because I really like him, but the quality control uh, and the design of this. I know it really can't be helped and if you're just posing them and doing photos or looking at him on the shelf, it's not gonna matter, but I, I feel like maybe the hose could have been longer uh, and this one may be a little more flexible here. So as far as yeehaw wise, I, I've got to give him not my camera over there. Oh, hold on, buddy. So I, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to give this dude a four. I really would like to give him a four and a half or a five, you know, maybe give him four and a ye, but I, I can't because of the QC. If I had opened this guy and his arm didn't fall off the second I tried to, to pose him, he, he would have definitely been a four and a half, maybe a five. So there he is, mole rat number 94. What do you guys think? I really like him. Give him a four out of five yeehaws. So this is Down South 77, three star draw. Hope you liked the review. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. I uh, hope to be making quite a few more soon as far as some random just commentary. Maybe stick around for that. I can be funny. Uh, it's not all just uh, rants and rambling and monotone i can pretty i can be pretty damn funny now i will see y'all next time peace